Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. So I just got back results from my latest blood test and I'm gonna share with you right now my testosterone levels. I'm gonna share the whole thing with you shortly after I get my heart CT scan, which I'm waiting to get scheduled right now. So you'll see a complete picture of where I'm at after eight years vegan at age 51. But I wanna do my T levels with you here first because I've never tested them before and I've heard so much watching YouTube videos and reading blogs about how it's next to impossible for vegans to have proper testosterone levels. It is very hard to boost testosterone and have optimal testosterone if you are on a vegan diet. Basically, he's been a vegan for several years. He's 20 years old and he notices that he just can't get it up. He took my advice and boom, he's recognizing that there's some life coming back to Mr. Happy down below. Go figure, right? Nourish your body with the foods that mankind has eaten since the dawn of creation. I think it's overly simplistic for uh, either myself or anyone else who's teaching testosterone enhancement or um, hormonal health enhancement. It's overly simplistic to just say that uh, you should only eat meat and you shouldn't be a vegan or shouldn't be a vegetarian. So yeah, there's plenty of stuff out there on the web saying what these guys are saying. If you're vegan, you're not eating any dead animals, just eating plants, that your body is somehow not getting the nutrients it needs to produce testosterone in sufficient levels. So yeah, if you're vegan or vegetarian, you'll be deficient in testosterone. So they say, so yeah, I was quite anxious to see what, where my T levels are at, particularly since I'm at age 51 now and T levels drop at a pretty standard rate from the age 30 onwards. So I have no idea what my T levels are like. So I asked my doctor on this latest blood panel, please give me a testosterone test. So here's the page that has my total serum cholesterol. And as you see here by the red arrow, it's 744 nanograms per deciliter. And the reference range is 264 to 916. So you see I'm already on the high end of that range. And it says below that this interval of 264 to 916 is based on a population of healthy non-obese males between 19 and 39 years old, which is a bit younger than I am. So to put this number in perspective, I think it's helpful to look at this graph here. This chart shows both total and free testosterone levels in men by age. And we're just gonna look at the blue points, the blue part of this graph here, which shows total testosterone. From, for some reason, they didn't measure free testosterone on this test. Perhaps I would have had to request that as well. So anyway, let's plot my points here on this chart. Remember, I'm in the age group of 45 to 55 year old dudes here, and here's where mine would be, near 750, which is far above the average for my age group. And every resource I could find on testosterone levels showed that 744 is high for even a person in their testosterone producing prime in their 30s. So what's up with that? This runs completely contrary to what those anti-vegans were saying at the beginning of this video, that vegans are somehow inherently deficient in testosterone. Maybe I'm just lucky. I'm an exception to the rule. Well, one thing to point out is that all those people I showed at the beginning, they're not medical doctors, they're not biochemists, they're not researchers. Well, let's actually see what actual, true, factual science says about testosterone and not eating meat. If you take men on a high-protein diet, meat, fish, poultry, egg whites, and switch them to a high-carb diet of bread, vegetables, fruit, and sugary junk, their cortisol levels drop about a quarter within 10 days. At the same time, their testosterone levels shoot up by about the same amount. High-protein diets suppress testosterone. That's why if you take men eating plant-based diets and have them start eating meat every day, their testosterone levels go down, and actually some estrogens go up. And that was Dr. Greger from nutritionfacts.org sharing some of the science. And there's many others. It's not like these two studies are the only ones that show that vegan men have higher levels of testosterone. Check out this one, for instance, that shows not only do vegan men have lower levels of bad things like IGF-1, they indeed have higher levels of testosterone. So actual fact-based, peer-reviewed science debunks this myth that vegans are naturally, inherently deficient in testosterone. 
Now I really wish I'd been getting my testosterone levels checked the whole time I've been vegan to see how they may have fluctuated. But more so, I really wish I was I had checked my testosterone before going vegan because as the science shows, I most likely got a testosterone boost. For all I know, my levels were more average and they actually got a boost from going vegan. Despite what those anti-vegans were saying at the beginning, how you cannot boost your testosterone as a vegan. Actually, they didn't look at the science. They're just like many anti-vegans making stuff up, living in some kind of fantasy world. So anyway, leave your questions and comments down below. Have you had your testosterone levels checked as a vegan or as a non-vegan? Share them down below if you wish. Hit like if you learned something from this video and share it with any anti-vegan friends and family members who are saying that you're going to lose your masculinity as a male vegan. So that's it for now. So next time, remember, it doesn't suck being vegan. Round and round.